It's that time again to start a brand new career mode, and this time it's with Tottenham Hotspur. Welcome to episode one. I cannot wait to get into this one. Spurs are currently battling with Arsenal, their rivals, for that fourth place spot. And the last time they were in the Champions League was when they made the final. They got beat by Liverpool 2-0. Since then, Spurs have sacked three managers, and they're currently with Antonio Conte. Oh, and not to forget the elephant in the room, they also haven't won a trophy since 2008. <laughs> Are you serious? So we have a massive task on our hands here. Not just to get them back in the top four, but to win them their first Champions League trophy. In season one, we start off with a budget of 80 million with 200k in the wedge budget, which is decent to be fair. It's not the biggest budget like some other teams we've had, but we can definitely work with it. And of course, the team does need a lot of improvement. So leave your suggestions in the comments. And if you guys are excited for the series, then drop it a like, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on and let's get into it. So currently this is how Antonio Conte has Spurs playing. He's playing that 5-2-3, which he famously plays, which is an interesting formation. And I am very tempted to just play it throughout this whole save. If not this, then a variation of something like it. Maybe something more like this, which we played in the Milan career mode. Whatever formation we end up using, I just really feel we should have five at the back here. Of course, we have the main two players in this save, both 89 rated. We have Harry Kane and Hun Son. We have Kolovesky on loan from Yves Venice, I'm pretty sure. Benton Kerr might be on loan as well. We have Ramiro, who's also on loan. So we've got a bunch of loanies here, which we might want to make permanent. If we are going to play this five at the back, then a player like Regulon would be a very important player going forward. But now Emerson will do, but yeah, we're definitely going to have to look for some improvements there. But I have mentioned it before. When you play this specific formation, the 5-2-3, them two midfielders have to boss it. They have to be incredible. So if we're going to make any improvements or sign any midfielders they're gonna have to be good enough to play as a two in midfield uh, for example harry winks definitely isn't that but we will play the first two games in the premier league in today's episode so we will see how this team performs but we're really gonna have to try and figure out how we're gonna get the most and the best out of harry kane because he's got 67 sprint speed and in fifa not great is it irl it'd be completely fine of course it's harry kane one of the best strikers in the world but in fifa you kind of have to get around it so if you've got any suggestions suggestions to how we can get him going then also put that in the comments but with tactics and style of play right now Conte has it on drop back which is interesting our first two games in the league are fairly hard so I will kind of just leave it on that and for build up we'll just go for fast build up and forward runs a nice fast aggressive counter attack there but a position we're definitely gonna have to need and Spurs have needed this position for ages and it is a backup striker because if Kane were to get injured like he does IRL quite often then we're going to need that backup striker. Right now we have Mora who could play there, but he's not really going to do that job, is he? And for the player in the youth academy, it looks like we have this guy, Johnson. Alex Johnson, 16, 68 rated, 81 to 94 potential. That is exciting. Currently a center forward. It would take 23 weeks to move him to a striker. Let me know in the comments if he looks more like a winger or, or a cam. It would only take a couple of weeks to convert him to that position. But for now, we'll put him on this development plan, improve his ball control, Control is finishing his dribbling. And if you guys want your comment or suggestions to be shown in the press conferences, then leave them down below. And if you see anyone else's comments that you agree with or like, then drop it a like because the more likes it has, the more chance it has of making the press conference. We have CJ12 mentioning that we should only make two signings per season. I do like the sound of having a cap on how many signings we can make, but two per season seems a little bit extreme. We are trying to actually improve Spurs here and, and get them back to the top. To have how about more like two signings per window? I'm not going to confirm that in today's episode. So do let me know in the comments and we'll discuss that in the press conference next episode. And we have Josh FC saying that we should be more youth focused and also don't make it too unrealistic. Keep some veteran players, some older players, players above the age of 27 and look at ending the series once you hit the chance of winning the Champions League. And I agree with that. We should focus on the youth. We need to bring that player through who is a center forward. Maybe even put a youth scout out for three months or six months or whatever and try and look for some players. Definitely not just selling players because 
they're old. And to wrap the press conference up, we have five seasonal objectives this season. And of course, I've already filled out one, which is to get 23 goals with Harry Kane this season. The forfeit, if he doesn't do it, is to sell him next season. 23 is fairly high, but it's Harry Kane. Like, he should be doing it. If he has a good season, he should be doing it. Of course, we have four more left. So get your suggestions down below for what they should be. Now, we're going to play five at the back. You guys know my favorite player is Tio Hernandez. I loved him in that Milan save. He was literally incredible. One of the best players I've played with this year. Would cost a lot of money, though, between 70 and 100 million. The insane money. That's basically our whole budget, but the 23-year-old is 84 rated. But maybe next season, or if we're here three seasons, at some point, I definitely want this guy. A lot of you guys mentioning this guy, Valovic. Exciting prospect. Of course, he is at Juventus, but he's not really a backup striker, is he? He's 83 rated, is 21. He's, he's the type of player you'd expect to be starting. But a striker who could be a backup striker is Jonathan David. We have not signed this guy in ages. And in FIFA 21, he was incredible in a Newcastle save we did, scoring like 50 goals in one Premier League season. So I would love to sign this guy again. First time in FIFA 22. If you guys have used him, then let me know how you got on with him. But I've got here, he starts off at 79 rated and he's got 85 potential. So again, would be a good backup. Also a player you guys like to mention is Luka Jovic from Real Madrid. Could be a good backup striker. Again, starts off at 79 rated. And the 23-year-old can reach 84 potential. Again, could be a solid backup to Harry Kane. Because that's it. If he has an injury, we need a play we can trust. Play well with. Your good finishing isn't slow. Which Jonathan David is quick. Because Harry Kane's slow. So we might want to sign a player who's the opposite to that. But for midfield options, we do have La Celso on loan at Real. It's 25. The Argentine is 80 rated. So let me know in the comments if we could recall him. We've got a goalkeeper who we could recall, but we have Nondembele who's 24. He's 79 rated and I'm pretty sure he still has some really good potential. And we have Brian Gill who's at Valencia. And I did actually think that Deli Ali was on loan at Everton, but they must have permanently signed this guy. I swear he was on loan. Am I getting confused with Donny van der Beek or something? Fair enough. A apparently they bought him. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Just feel we need depth for that center midfield position. In fact, I don't know how Spurs have coped IRL. And on Bele or La Salso could just fit into this side really, really nicely. We, we wouldn't even need to sign a new player. And if we're going to sign a center back, I feel this guy, Nico from Germany. Exciting prospect, he'd be good. Especially if you're playing five at the back and we've got three center backs, we're definitely going to have to strengthen there. And Dika from, is it Frankfurt? Left footed center back, six foot four, 80 rated, can get to 85, would also be a good option. And from Bele, because and we have Tab Sober, who starts off at 80 and has 86 potential. We've got some really good options at the back. I'd probably say it's one of the most important positions and one of the positions which we could get someone fairly cheap at. I mean, we could even look at Konza at Villa. He's English. He's 23, 79 rated, and he's got 86 potential. In fact, I feel this is the best option, to be fair. Would cost probably around 40, 45 million. But definitely a solid option. You guys have probably noticed already, but I've been looking at buying center backs and who we could buy but Romero we don't even have him like he's on loan as I mentioned right at the start that or buy option what happens if I pay that it's 60 million that is the buy option that's like pretty much all our budget already so I don't want to do that yet maybe next season but surely if we buy a center back we should probably just go for this guy okay I'm not gonna lie to you guys but normally when we start a new career mode I put a few players on the transfer list and say they need to go but I'm really struggling to to do that here I've got gone through the squad so many times and there's not one player I can just put on the transfer list. Maybe Eric Dyer and possibly Harry Wings, maybe Ben Davies. But I really need your guys' suggestions here in the comments. Unfortunately, our first game of the season is against Man City. And it's so frustrating that Hoiberg gets a negative four in this position. It's not like I can convert him to a CDM here. It just doesn't let us look. He only lets us play him as a center mid. So we're going to have to customize the formation ourselves so he is a cdm like so i didn't accept preseason again so unfortunately we have some really low sharpness like eight for regular and a solid zero for hoiberg you'd love to see it probably why he's still got a negative one but for new viewers we're on ultimate difficulty competitive mode player based difficulty and these are the sliders to make it harder for us and to give the opposition an advantage so hopefully we don't get smashed by city here we want a good start to the season a draw 
draw, I'd take a draw right now. That would be a positive result. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Okay, City start off with an early corner. Here's Raheem Sterling. I don't I don't get why Raheem Sterling's so quick. I, honestly, is I've never seen a player that quick before. What is that? I'm shocked. Not just the fact we won no down after about 10 seconds, but he was rapid. So quick. This better not be a sign of uh, more to come here. Because I'm not ready to lose 5-0. It's Damon and Sanchez. Nice little overlap there. Son to Regulon. Just going to look to cross it in. At least Kane's good in the air. So we could just look to cross it into him. Look for Son here. Oh, this is a golden opportunity. Son. Oh, he's hit the bar. Are you kidding me? He's hit the bar. We win a corner. How has he missed that chance? Are you kidding me? Let's look for Kane from the corner. Come on, Son. Find your buddy. Whipped in. Easy save by the keeper. I can't believe that. Here's Foden. Oh, no. Hoiberg. At least he didn't actually catch him there. Could have been bad that. Here's Foden. He's playing it back. Forward is competitor mode for you. And 2 0. I mean, it's so easy for them. It is so easy for City right now. Brian up. He finds Bernardo. And he finds the back of the net. What are we doing? Okay. 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 Oh, we've got how many at the back? No. Nope. What a save. Oh, what a tackle there, Hoybier. Beautiful stuff. Koloveski. We've got Bentonka. Now wide to Regulon. This is good stuff. Can Kane get back in the box? Going to cross it in with one a corner. Okay, we're approaching halftime. We're 2-0 down. Get that cross in. Oh, what a good chance. Hoyberg. Why are we hitting that? That could have been so much better. Losing 2-0 at the break. Well, here they come again. We seem very exposed at the back, to be fair. Bit strange for having three defenders. Here's Raheem Sterling. Oh, no. Here he comes. Raheem Sterling with his pace. Here's Emerson. Well, why? That's cheating. Why is Sterling running back to defend? Oh, that's a nice run from Emerson over the top. Can he get there? Oh, here's Kane. That's it. Get in. Come on. Our first game. Of course, it's Harry Kane. Looking for Emerson. I mean, that's a mistake at the pack by Man City, but we don't mind. We now have a chance. It's 2-1. I mean, Keeper should be saving that. He gets a hand to it. We don't care. 2-1. Okay, we've got 20 minutes left to play. Here's Mares. Now in the box. Don't concede another. Oh, we're so lucky there. We are so lucky there. That goes in. It's game over. They get the three points. That's a great goal kick. Here's Raheem. Raheem Sterling's been so good this game. Don't know if you guys know this. Is De Bruyne a good save keeper? Oh, no, Mares. Oh, no. Oh, okay. They're, they're missing opportunities they'd normally score here. And here we come. Here we go. Now we capitalize off their mistakes. Here's Koloveski. Now to M. Oh, that, that is dodgy, but some people. What is this game? Now wide to Koloveski. Nice one, two. With I mean, it's awful. Uh, we've played awful here. That was our only hope there. Game ends. It's a 2 1 win to City. I mean, it's hard to analyze where you went wrong when you're playing City, and obviously they're so good. And it's our first game. Of course, sharpness isn't quite there. Of course, this squad has its weaknesses, but we know our strengths. And it's Harry Kane, it's Son. We've got decent players here and there. We've got a really good goalkeeper. But I just found in the last game that the midfield was non existent. They just really didn't do anything. And then at the back, we we're just very, very confused. The three centre backs worked in the Milan, but here, it's just they were they were all going to the ball. Almost like they need to be separated a little bit more. For some reason, we have more money now. I don't I don't know how, but we have 95 million, 250k in the wage budget. Honestly, no one has gone. So I don't know how we have 95 million now. But I feel it would be massive if you guys would allow us to bring La Salso back or maybe end on Bele. Maybe this goalkeeper and sell him. Bring Gil back. We are going to have to have some solution for the wing because obviously next season, Kolovesky is going to go back to Juventus. I mean, sometimes in career mode, the, the club who loans out the player just recalls them. If you don't play them, they just recall them. So we should be okay with the center back and the winger. But if they get recalled, we're in big trouble. But we are now playing Wolverhampton away and we have to win this. This has to be a game that we win. I can't be bothered to do the whole formation thing again with Hoiberg. I just mentioned this goalkeeper recalling and selling him. He's on loan. He's on loan from Analana. I thought we owned him and we were loaning him out. Okay, forget that then. As I said, we're playing Wolves and they're basically playing the same formation as us. Need a win. Has to be a win. Come on, Spurs. Okay, it's Benton Kerr. Now Regulon. All that back. Benton Kerr. Let's get that ball moving. Get a good feel off it in this game. Here's Hoiberg. There's a gap. I'm just going to hit nope. it. 
Good save. I mean, that, that would have been outrageous. Oh, what a tackle there, Dyer. Beautiful stuff. Here's Hoiberg. Slip that. Benton Co. Oh, no. What is that? Keep it in. Here's Son. I'm just going to hit it. Bend it. Terrible effort. Decent start, though. We've already shown much better passing, desire, everything from the last game. Oh, Eric Dyer in this game has been class. Now I've got Benton Kurt. Son, I want a better run from you. Here he is in behind. Good touch. Son. On his left, should be 1-0 it is. 1-0 Spurs. 21 minutes in. I was looking for him to make that run and boom, he did. Great finish. I feel we're going to see a lot from Son this season. He is quick. We've got Kane and we've got Son. But Son, in FIFA terms, is just a better player. He's quick, great dribbling, shooting. So we need to take advantage of him this season. <laughs> Oh, here come Wolves to get back in it. Neto. Oh, you're kidding me. They literally just hit us like that. You guys are probably going to go for a clean sheet seasonal objective again with the keeper. And with this defense, uh, that should be a laugh. Just allowed to turn his man so easily. Hits it. Yeah, it's one all. Okay, we've got a corner now. We need to look for Kane on these. Son whips it in. Go on, Kane. Oh, that kick. Oh, wow. That would have been class. Nice header, Emerson. No, so far, it has been awkward to try and get Kane on the ball. I'm not liking him in this system. Here he is. Prove me wrong, Kane. You've got a good shot on you. Go on, show us. On that right. Gonna hit one. Just blocked. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is that? You're kidding me. We're 2-1 down before the break. It's Poddens with the goal. It's just terrible. It's really, really bad from us, that is. Awful goal. <laughs> Awful. No, he's not going to send him. Oh, I've just, I've gone and got really, really angry before half time. Just really angry and just pressed X. And we've got Kulaveski sent off. How much of a bad start can we have to a season? This is terrible. Here's Wolves. Nice build up play. Passing it around. Oh, 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 it's dreadful. No, no, it, it, okay, we need to lower the sliders, apparently. Why in every crimo do we have a terrible start to the league? Keeper nearly saves it. This is just embarrassing at this point. Why do we always have such a sh start? Benton Kurt, look at Kane making the run. I'm going to play it back post. Song coming in. Oh, regular clear. Pauly. Oh, how's he missed that? How's he missed that? We score. We could possibly get back in it. That is poor, that is. That is awful. Right, here comes Son. He's got the sprint. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Here's Son. Here's Son. Son's done so well. Of course he goes and bl bloody saves it. That had to be a goal. And we could have maybe had a possibility of uh, scoring a third. Son crosses another in. Sanchez with the header. We just go again. Who are we playing next, guys? Who have we got next? Look for Harry Kane on the ground. Kane takes it down to hit one. I think we need to find a new formation, guys. <laughs> it's just this formation is so wide and it's so open. It feels like every time we pass from one player to the other, it's like, is the ball going to make? It? Yeah, we definitely have to rethink this formation. It, it just doesn't play well. Maybe the 4-3-3, 4-2-3-1. We get your transfer suggestions down below, your tactics, your formation suggestions down below. If you've enjoyed episode one, leave the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bell on so don't miss the next episode. If you want to watch me live, my Twitch is in the description. Go give that a follow. And in the top left of your screen will be a video that YouTube recommends you watch.